pretty successful road trip. Um, is that kind of what you guys were expecting, or were, are you even surprised that you can uh, get five out of six points? I mean, anytime you get five out of six, uh, it's a great accomplishment. Uh, Greenville's a really good team. Gwinnett's a tough team to play. Um, I think we really gelled as a team. Um, we would like to get that extra point in uh, Greenville, but taking five out of six is pretty good. As you guys get ready for uh, Evansville on Friday, anything in, in particular you guys are focusing on in practice? Uh, they're, they're a hard-nosed team. You know, their record isn't great. They just got a new coach, um, and we gotta, we're going to have to come to battle. Uh, they play really hard in the corners. They got a lot of tough guys that play the body. So uh, just winning puck battles um, in practice, moving it up to the forwards, and uh, hopefully you know, we'll be successful this weekend. Uh, what is it about the Iceman that you, that you guys have to prepare for when you, when you get ready to face him? The Ice? The Iceman? Ice oh, yeah. They're a hard-nosed team. Um, they have a lot of big, strong guys. Um, I think our, one of our strengths is our skating. Um, so I think we can take advantage of that. They have guys that, uh, you know, meat and potato guys, um, and we can get it in behind their D, in behind their forwards, and kind of grind them out and take advantage of our skating. It's always good to have Puck shot at you while you're doing an interview. Uh, you guys have been obviously playing really well here in the first half, and the All-Star break is kind of on the horizon. How critical is it for you guys to just continue to play well heading into that? Yeah, I mean, we can't, we can't let up. Obviously, you know, we want to be at top of this division. Toledo, Florida, um, a lot of teams with similar records to us. So, uh, you know, you think you take five points right back here. We got six points on the line this weekend. Um, and one bad weekend, and you fall out of first place. So there's really no room for error. As you guys also look back at the first half, you, you have yet to lose regulation games back to back. What's that say about this team? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've definitely faced some adversity. A um, couple tough losses, but just the confidence in the locker room. Like, we know after a loss that we really need to step up um, and give it our all because we don't want to lose two games in a row ever here. How difficult is it for you guys dealing with uh, call-ups and injuries to kind of fill in the spots that are needed, particularly, you know, the forward position? Yeah, we're a little short at forward, but uh, we've had some guys come in and step up. And uh, that's the way this league goes. There's always guys coming up, down with injuries, and it's just next one up has to be ready to go and, uh, you know, embrace his role, whichever he's given. If you go from the third line to the first line, um, and that's really it. Just kind of pick each other up when one guy goes up. You know, obviously you want to go up, but uh, it's just the way this league works. I know you never played for him, but are you aware of, of Al Sims and kind of the legacy that he has here in Fort Wayne? I'm really not familiar with that. Uh, I think one of the guys were saying that, yeah, he's, he played here or he was coaching here. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really not too familiar with the situation.